Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to delete anything from your external hard drive. So, let's say you guys have a folder in your external hard drive. It doesn't really matter if it's a folder, if it's a photo, video. It's the same way to delete anything. So, here's my external hard drive and that I access through Finder. So, Finder will be down here below. All right? Or you guys can search it up on the top right hand side of your screen. You will see that spot that I search. So just search for that finder. Once you guys pop up that finder window, your external hard drive should be on the left hand side on the bottom. Somewhere there you guys will see the name. So I have three right here, it's three external hard drives. Now if this is a USB stick, it's the exact same thing. So it doesn't really matter what or from where you guys are deleting these pictures or videos or documents from. It's the same thing. So let's just go into this folder right here. And let's say I have a lot of stuff here. So I'm just gonna go into professional photos, for example. I'm gonna scroll down and I see these pictures right here. I want to delete any one of these. So all I have to do is just click on it. I'm gonna right click and then move to trash, which is my third option. To right click, I do have a separate video, but basically you just have to do that from system settings and set up your right clicking if you haven't done so already. Now let's say it's some type of document, such as this one right here. We can also delete that. That's also a JPEG, but it was a document, so a screenshot of a document. If I want to delete anything else, so let's just go right here. I want to delete several things. I can just drag this and select many and press Command Delete. That's another way. So that's Command Delete on your keyboard. Or I can highlight anything and just right click instead of open with your third option will be down here below as move to trash. Now remember anything you move to trash before you unplug your external hard drive or USB stick, you do have to empty out your trash. I'm gonna go all the way back and let's say I want to delete this entire folder. Well, it's the exact same thing. I can just press command delete, which is what I always like to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and press command delete and that has been deleted. Now I'm gonna go into another external hard drive and here I have more stuff. So here I got more documents. These are Word files. I can just press Command Delete. I can have this music files and videos in here. I can go ahead, move them to trash. So anything really works like that. And then you just empty out your trash bin. Your trash bin will be on the bottom right hand side for most of you. So just go down there and you can again right click and just empty trash. Now I am showing you the quickest ways to do this. Obviously you guys can open up your trash bin and just empty it out from there. However, I find this to be the quickest way to delete anything. So right now it's deleting a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go back into my external hard drive. Now let's say I want to clean it up all and there's a bunch of information doing the trash way will not be the best way to delete anything. Or if you guys are having even problems with your external hard drive or USB stick, well, then the best way to get rid of everything and make sure nobody can retrieve it is to format it. So what we have to do is go to a disk utility. So on the top right hand corner of your screen, you will see again the spotlight search. In your spotlight search, we're going to type in disk utility. That's our very first option that's going to show up right here. So this is disk utility. It's a program pre-installed on your Mac. And what we have to make sure is not to touch anything up here in, in disk utility. Okay, now for most of you, maybe you don't see this view and that's because on the top left hand side, you guys will see view and maybe you guys have this selected, show only volumes. That's okay, we can do it that way as well. You guys will see whatever volumes you guys have. Now it's very important that you look at external and you do anything right here in external. Do not touch your internal hard drives. Now as a quick tip and the best way to format anything really is to go into view and just select show all devices. Once you do that, if you scroll down just a little bit, you will see external and then you will see all these or just maybe one for most of you. So you need to click on the first one you see up here and it's very important. I have two external hard drives when I hooked up. It's this one that it's actually not working at the moment. So I don't have it turned on, but it still shows me that it's connected. And then I have this one that's connected. And under this one, you don't have to select any one of these, okay? So if you guys have partitions or see anything else, or maybe just see one partition, that's okay. Just click on your very first option and we're gonna delete everything. This will delete all the partitions that it has, by the way. So by formatting, again, means deleting everything. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna click on erase. So in the middle of this utility, you will see 
erase. Once we click on erase, there's several options here to do. So what we want to do is usually go to XFAT because most of you want to transfer information between both your Mac and PC. So any Windows computer could read it as well. If you guys want this just to work with Mac, then go ahead and do journaled. That's what I always choose just because I only work with Macs. And by the way, also just choose this just in case you guys want to partition this in the future. However, if you guys pick anything else such as this option right here, you will not be able to partition your external hard drive. So do not choose that. We're just going to choose this option and we're going to go ahead and erase. Yes, that will delete your external hard drive. So we're just going to see what happens right here. On the left hand side, you guys will see that these will disappear. Also, if you guys get any errors, just do it again. So right now, everything should be formatted. Everything should be deleting itself. If you guys are planning on maybe selling this external hard drive or you're giving it to somebody and you don't want them to be able to retrieve it ever. So because right now, even though I just deleted everything, there are ways and there's programs that help you retrieve some of the information. They usually don't retrieve not even 90% of the information, but they let you uh, quite a bit of information from it. Anyways, so in order to do that in the safe way, let's just go into erase. And down here below, you guys will see on the left-hand side, security options, just click right there. And if you guys choose, for example, the safest, so this is the most secure way, just drag that to the right side, it will take forever to actually format this. But that means that whoever wants to retrieve data will not be able to. And if you guys do the fastest, they might be able, they might not. It's a uh, half half. But usually when people try to retrieve any information that has been erased by formatting, they're able to retrieve very minor information or just here and there files from it and not even complete files. A lot of corruption happens in there. So this is also an option. You would just click on OK and go ahead and delete it that way. Just a heads up, if you do the most secure or any one of these options, it will take quite a bit of time in order to format it, so get ready. For example, this on a, let's say, eight terabyte external hard drive will take maybe a whole day. However, if this is just for you, just do it the fastest and you're fine. You're ready to go and just erase like I just taught you. Anyways, that would be it for this video. That's so you guys can delete stuff, permanently delete stuff and make it really secure as well. That's it for this video tutorial. Don't forget to always eject your external hard drives, USB sticks, before you go ahead and unplug them from your computer. As you guys can see right here, I can eject them by pressing this, and now I can actually unplug them from my computer. Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.